Hello everybody, I thought I'd do a little live for you today. Um, did a reel on 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 the gram, on Instagram, so I'm going to do a little live on Facebook for you. It's been a while. You know, if, if you see this, please share it. Um, hopefully it'll be fun, informative. It's going to be short, just going to be a quick one. So I have my workout here, Olympic Fit. Um, it is Flex Friday, by the way. Did you know it's Flex Friday? It's Fitness Friday. Um, so if you read the little caption down below, this is about, well, a little something that Henry Rollins talked about quite a while ago. And, I don't know, it popped in my head today. So I figured, I don't know, why not, let's just talk about it. Because, well, there's all kinds of wild, crazy stuff going on. So, there's a lot of talk about different types of time and investments and stuff like that. Henry Rollins, years ago, uh, and I've, I've shared a little meme about it. Basically, broke it down to, there's only one time, it's lifetime. All you have is life. Time. That means how you live, when you live, who you're going to live with, all, you know, all that stuff, right? But it's life time, okay? There's a finite amount of that, uh, less for some, more than others. And some of that comes down to, well, how are you living? Like, what are you doing with your life time, right? What do you do from the time you go to sleep until you go back to sleep again? What are you doing with it, right? Are you... Worrying about what little you have and losing it? Or are you investing in it? Do a little bit of that. Um, Look at a few of those. And investing your time, it didn't take much. Like 10% of your day. Less than that. 5% of your day. Um, just to invest a little bit of time in you and your life for a little more lifetime, better lifetime. So you can enjoy it with people you want to live it with. Right? Or you can just sit back and worry about it. Netflix and chill your life away. There's no way to do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some cool stuff to watch. I watch some stuff. I binge watch on occasion. Right? We have to have some rest time. Get our lifetime and some enjoyment. Some entertainment time. Um, you can't work all the time. I, I know I work way too much. So I've had to cut back on some of that. Just for this. Um... So, and that comes with, like, owning and running one of these, right? So, you know, all your small business owners out there, it's at times wasting their life away trying to build and grow one of these things called a business, not a job. Um, it's a business. Why? Because you are involved in it 24-7, whether you like it or not. Um, <laughs> it's still a job where you clock in, you clock out, and you're done with your 40 hours or whatever. Oh, wow. Um, so, <laughs> not to be a little jobs, but uh, when you become an owner, it's a whole different deal, right? When you own it, it comes down to you, it's a whole different kind of deal. Um, you can't just, I mean, you can't just say, I'm not going to show up one day, but, you know, what's going to happen? So, back to the whole lifetime thing. Take some time to invest in you and your life and the things that are going to help improve your life in your time. Cool, cool thing right now. I know stock market is. There's gonna be more. Oh, all right. What does it mean? It means stuff is on sale. Okay. Don't look at your 401k. You're gonna get depressed. Don't do that. Stuff is on sale. A lot of other things are about to be on sale in the next couple of years. So, word of the wise: keep some cash on hand uh, if you can, and get ready for things to be on sale that you might want to put into your life or be able to invest in it you probably couldn't invest in before. So keep your credit good, uh, not just your personal credit score, business credit, and your health credit. you got a credit score for this thing right here. When you go to the doctor and you get those numbers back, that's your health credit score looking at And actually, there's an even better one out there, by the way. Um, Tuesday, I should have posted this down here. I know I'm rambling now, so just bear with me. <laughs> I had my workout. Things are flowing. Um, so next week on Tuesday, Changing Life and Destiny Expo in Plano. I invite you to come out to that. I'll, I'll post it down below uh, or just look it up. I've shared it multiple times. You probably haven't seen it. Once again, share this. Okay, share this because, well, the algorithm is fickle. We'll call it that. The algorithm is fickle. Um, 
<laughs> so um, share this out there because this is for people to know and understand, right? So if you want to really invest in your health, you need to know what areas you're lacking in and deficient in so you can bring those up, what areas you're good in, um, so you know and you know what your health credit score is because if you don't know that, well, if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. One of the best songs from one of the best movies ever. Okay, Princess Bride, go watch it. Why? Because it's funny and it's fun and you'll feel better after you do it. Okay? Um, this is for families out there. Uh, it's a great movie. Anyway, so, <laughs> other than that, get your butt into one of these. Okay, speaking of inflation, fall. Inflation, right? The, the fall 15. You don't want that fall 15. Let's make it a... How about this? How about this? Okay. Let's have a little recession in your <laughs> diet uh, and, and weight, right? Uh, because otherwise you have inflation, then you have major depression. Thank you. Uh, and then you got to go through all the hell of going through January. Oh, the New Year's resolutions. Oh, I got to get in the gym and work out with everybody else that's showing up in January. We don't even like it. Okay, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, we, we want you in here. But not for like two weeks, roaming around, causing a mess, and you know, don't do that to yourself. Uh, actually, if you want, and I've done this before. Actually, I did, I did a TV interview. If you have not watched it, please watch it. I might post it down below too. Uh, about if you want 99 percent chance of success, okay? Do you want 99 percent chance of success in getting healthy? Hmm. Hmm. 99 percent chance. That you will improve your health and get healthy. Would you like that? Would you like that little secret right now? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Um, Ninety-nine percent chance that you're going to get and be healthier is if you start this month, October, this month. Okay, because you have twelve weeks. Well, twelve weeks ish before the first of the year. That means you have the rest of the end of the year, which is the toughest time to do it. Why? Because, well, we've got all the candies and treats. We've got Halloween. Luckily, there'll be less candy um, <laughs> because of manufacturing woes by the candy companies. Um, and then you got Thanksgiving. But really, you've got three days of, like, excess. Three, three days of excess eating over the course of three months. That ain't, that ain't bad, man. Um, and it's, like, feeding time for, like, getting really good workouts. That's what I'm going to be. That's, that's what I'll be doing. Um... So, join this over here on the fit side is much more fun. You get to eat for fun. Um, for real, you get to eat for fun. Like, you, you eat something, you don't regret it. It's really cool. Um, you know, actually, we eat it, and you're like, ooh, you know what's going to happen in my next workout? I'm going to get this awesome pump. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I digress. Um, but the next, you've got three months. You've got, three months. You've got a whole quarter, okay? Three months, 12 weeks to... Get your health improved. If you do it now, like now in October, you have a 99% chance that you're going to continue on with that because you have already started doing it before January gets here. It will be come a part <coughs> a part of your lifestyle. Not your lifestyle, but a part of your lifestyle, right? And then after six months, it starts becoming a lifestyle. And then after 18 months, it just becomes life. Let me repeat that. It becomes life. Like it becomes your life. This is just what I do. I wake up. I go to the bathroom. I brush my teeth. I have some breakfast. I go work out or I work out later in the day. Pick your time, right? Uh, morning, night, it doesn't matter. It's whatever works for you. Um, but that's just, it's, it's just part of your life. That's just like what you do, okay? Um, I already had a great sit-down interview about that. And somebody asked him about, why are you still working out? You're like 70-something. You're still working out. One, because he's still in Hollywood. Um, but two, he's like, he's like, well, I had breakfast yesterday. I had breakfast 20 years ago. I had breakfast 70 years ago. I'm having, I had breakfast today. I'm going to have breakfast tomorrow. This is what I do, right? So when it's what you do, it's just what you do. It's a part of your life. And if you have kids, you have to ingrain that as just... This is just life. This is this is something that's just there, right? Right? It's like <coughs> it's like sleeping and eating and breathing, um, and hacking and coughing because of all the allergies in the air. It seriously is rough out there with the allergies. It really is. Um, but 
you want 99% chance of success of improving your health, you do it this month. Don't hold back. Start this month. Like now, you got two and a half weeks left in this month. Okay? Just let you know. If you want a 85% chance, you start next month. If you want a 50-50 chance, you start in December. Because, let's face it, December, come on. Um, everybody takes off. <laughs> man, if you can start in December, whew, man. If, do you want a 99% chance of failure? Okay? Sir, do you want 99% chance of failure? Statistically, 99%? Well, then start in January. That is 99% chance you're going to fail when you start in January. Because January, well, resolution dump day is on January 15th. Because that's the day half the people dump their resolutions. 75% are done by the end of January. Everybody else is done by the end of March. They're gone. They're done. They can't do it. Right? Because they stressed themselves out. They had no plan. <clears throat> and they just did it because that's what you do every year. That's just what, that's what we do. Right? We go into January. This is what we do. We do our resolutions. We come in the gym for like two weeks. And then life happens. Right? Don't let that be you. So start now, October. Right? Where are you going to start? I don't know. That's a good place. I hear they're pretty good. <laughs> um, my buddies over at PhysioFit as well. I still do some private stuff so stuff over at PhysioFit, so check them out. If you want just a regular gym to walk into and work out, go there. This ain't your place for that. You come in here, you're working with me and Ray every time you walk in that door, okay? Um, well, me or Ray or, and either way. Um, <laughs> so, and we got, we got, got some burgers nobody else has over here. But if you're looking for a good gym, just walk in, work out, and do your thing. Is your fit? Awesome place, great place, right? Um, and there's some of those too. If you're not in like this area, message me. I, I know some of the other good ones out there, um, or I can get you to some other people. Know who to get you with in other areas around DFW for whatever you're trying to do, right? Um, if you're going to do one of those walkie runny things, uh, <laughs> this this fall for a charity because there's too million of them. Who do we work with here? Who do we work? Oh, that's right. We work, we work with world-class runners to help them get faster and improve and take care of all their stuff so they don't hurt and get injured while they're running. I'm looking at you runners. I'm looking at y'all. Um, <laughs> I did a 5K. I was hurting all over the place. I just don't know what... We, we can figure out exactly what you did wrong and help you do it way better and get a better time and enjoy it and not hurt. Would you like that? Would you like some uh, some gain with that pain? Would you like to just go run for fun? I don't run. For, I don't. I, I don't like running. Um, <laughs> be honest truth, uh, <laughs> I don't. Um, so, but for you runners out there that love to do that stuff, we'll make sure you can do it better than you've ever done before. Guaranteed. We got people to play on Sundays to come to us for that stuff. They get paid money. They get paid more money after they see us. If you like to get paid more money to do that stuff, come see us. We'll make sure you're making more money after you come see us. Um, so, uh, <laughs> if you put on some cleats and you do stuff that requires speed, we have that first bit of our name there for a reason. Ray knows a bit about that. Um, so, there you go. I know, I know. I've gone way off track. But, circle back around to the lifetime thing. It is your life. You only have so much time. If you would like some more time, then you have to invest a little bit of your time every day to gaining more of that. Or at least having better time available. Right? Because if you're sick, what are you going to do? N nothing. Nothing. If you're really healthy, what are you going to do? Whatever you feel like doing. What is it? Whatever. <laughs> you want to go take a cruise? You want to go hike? You want to go whatever? Unless there's allergies. I know. I'm sorry. Um, go do. Just, it's, it's freedom. Okay? Health is, health is your ultimate freedom because you can go do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. As long as you got the money and cash to do it. Um, <laughs> so, speaking of. From a business standpoint, if you have your own business, if you get sick, who's going to run it? 
No way, right? Um, do you know what the main reason for businesses going out of business is? Bankruptcy? Health costs, sickness, illness. Either an owner or employee gets sick, it drives up their health costs, they can't afford it, they go into bankruptcy, done. Because, not because of business stuff, no. Bad reviews, but no, no, no. It's because they couldn't afford illness. And that's with insurance, people. That's with and having insurance, right? So as I tell you, best insurance you've got is you taking care of you. Business owners, it starts with you, by the way. You better start taking care of you. You got it. Otherwise, you're going to burn out and that ain't no good. If you get sick, who's going to run it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. Take some time for that. Uh, if you'd like to join me here for some network outing, that's right. I made that up, by the way. Uh, I like to make stuff up. It's fun. Network outing. It rolls off the tongue. It's networking with a little work. It's not a major workout, okay? It's just enough to get you moving around. You might sweat. You might breathe a little hard. You're not going to breathe too hard because you got to give your 30-second pitch in between, this, in between the exercises. I know. It's a wild concept. We're going to try it out. Come in. Play with me for a little bit, okay? It's, it won't be rough. Um, but you will be, you'll feel way better when we get done, okay? Way better. And, well, you'll get to network some, with some cool people, okay? And you'll get access to my Rolodex, which is not exactly small. Some good people in there you might want to be connected with. And I do hand out, if you know me, you know I hand out connections very well. And we'll get you with people to get you where you want to and need to go. Because I know who those people are and who you need to get there. Um, I need to start using those more myself. But I like to give. So, there you go. Join me for some network outing Thursdays at 12. A new lunch time. We tried, I tried mornings. Apparently morning wasn't, uh, it's too early, I'm guessing. Or I was ahead of my time. Either way, message, you know, give me a little something down below. Let me know if you want to do mornings. Okay, if you do, we, we can try the 6 a.m. stuff again. Otherwise, we're going to do lunch. And then uh, Jenna Apgar has a great on Thursdays because, well, the big companies have millions and millions to spend on their marketing to get people in front of them and get them in front of people, right? You don't. She's got a really cool system to help you get in front of those people that you need to get in front of to get in your business so they don't go to the big business when they should be going to you, all right? Uh, so I'm going to tag team with her on some of this stuff as well because she's got a great, I mean, it's a great system. She's fantastic, by the way. So, um... Check her event out on Thursdays, 8.30, okay? <laughs> and uh, really cool strategy sessions there. So there you go. There, there's some stuff for you, for your lifetime, for your business time, um, for your time. Hope you enjoy it. Please share this with the people you know and love and you want to see grow and do better because it's going to be a wild couple months, Okay. It's going to be a while coming months. So small businesses, hear me out. We got to band together, all right? Uh, if you want some really cool, some really good, great resources for your small businesses, Offbeat Business Media, okay, OBBM. That's right, still do stuff with them. <coughs> I don't have the show because, well, I'm kind of busy with this crazy thing right now. Um, and uh, But Offbeat Business, Susan Hamilton, seriously, get involved with them. They're in with the chambers, everything else. They've got a great business community, okay, to help you out and have resources for you, especially, especially there's some wildness going on in banking if you haven't heard about what's going on in some of the banking stuff. Um, so make sure you know who you're banking with because uh, I'm going to start looking at that myself after some things have been popping up recently. Uh, anyway, so need some resources offbeat business media seriously definitely check them out watch the shows okay great information there especially you know elections are coming up very important and uh <laughs> talk about life <laughs> affecting your life man who man lo local stuff will affect you a lot more than national all the national is making some big effects on everybody right now too anyway so, anyway so before i get myself in trouble on here uh, <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> Invest in you, in your life, in your time, so you have more of it, and you can enjoy it with everybody that you want to enjoy it with, and make sure they're on the same track with you, and they get to do the same thing, okay, right? Make sure they are investing in their life, in their time. So they can do everything fun with you. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to enjoy life and have some fun, people. Can't work all the time. I know Mr. Workaholic over here. I'm just, I'm just here like six to nine every day. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm spending more time in my home office now. Because I can't. So, um, I invested in the place for that. So I'm going to start taking myself up on uh, in, enjoying the scenery and watching some squirrels play around while I'm on the computer. Uh, so... There you go. That's it. We gotta enjoy some time, people. We gotta enjoy some time. Um, that takes comes with investing a little bit of yourself into stuff like this, so you can enjoy more of it. Seriously, that's how you get more of it back. Otherwise, you're just gonna waste it. There's it. Uh, please share this. Have a great day. Get in there. Little we'll flex Friday for yourself. Little we'll fitness Friday, and uh, I'll start posting stuff below with the or it's even better. How about this? How about this? Go back through my feed and see everything you've missed. You probably missed a lot. Um, you know, run me through the page. Give me, give me some little likes and loves and you know, maybe uh, send some messages. Put some memes, what, whatever, right? So we can get some more engagement going on because we need more engagement for everybody else. I'll do the same thing on your page. I try to do that all the time. Notice, if I'm connected with you and I see your stuff, I'm always like liking and loving stuff and I'll maybe throw a little little gif or something like that on there, right? Just to help improve engagement for the people that I'm around. And I think they should have more of their content out there. we got to do that for everybody, right? Because otherwise the algorithm will run everything. We should be running the algorithm. <laughs> I don't know. I probably, just got, I probably just got downgraded for that right there. Um, anyway. It's all fun and games, isn't it? All right. Anyway, so there you go. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the great, enjoy the, oh man, it's going to be so nice next week. It's going to be cool. We're going to get rain. Um, fall's here, at least for a week. It's probably fake fall. Because it'll be like 90 afterwards, I know. You know, you know what's going to happen. Uh, it's going to be cool and chill and like 90s. You're going to come back and like fry us for another couple weeks until October 31st. And we're going to have a freeze. It's Texas people, get used to it. If you just moved here. Seriously, <laughs> oh man, get ready for a wild ride in weather. Just get, oh man, it's oh man, it's we have every season in a day or a week here, okay? Or we may just have one season for like six months. You don't know what you're gonna get, okay? <laughs> you gotta be hardy to survive, Texas. Um, that's why we're so different here. There we go. Have a great weekend. See you later. I'll probably I'll I'll do more of these. They're fun, hopefully, for you, for everybody.